What's going on everybody? Today's report is brought to you by Facilo Kia of Cape Coral. And today we're gonna to be talking about what's going on with the elections as the whole recounts come to a close. What happened after a man was arrested for impersonating a police officer and shooting two teenagers? And what happened to the FGCU men's basketball team in their last game? Thank you for stopping by. Today is Tuesday, November 20th. I'm Jared Brady, and this is your Naples Herald Daily Report. Senator Bill Nelson, who's been on Capitol Hill for decades, conceded his bitterly close re-election bid to Republican Rick Scott on Sunday after a bruising recount left Nelson thousands of votes short of the outgoing governor. Nelson gave up his quest after days of tense and often acrimonious recounting wrapped up on Sunday when Florida's counties had to turn in their official results. But Florida will not officially certify the final results until today but the total showed Nelson trailing Scott by more than 10,000 votes. This marked the third time Scott, who did not jump into politics until about eight years ago, has barely edged a Democratic rival. Trump even congratulated Scott on Twitter, saying, from day one, Rick Scott never wavered. He was a great governor and will be even a greater senator in representing the people of Florida. But while the Senate contest was one of the marquee races of the US midterm elections, it was overshadowed by the governor's race, a bitterly close competition between Republican Ron DeSantis and Democrat Andrew Gillum that became a proxy battle between President Donald Trump and his Democratic opponents. Gillum, Florida's first African-American nominee for governor, conceded to DeSantis on Saturday after lagging in a legally required machine recount. An Alba man is under arrest after allegedly shooting two male teenagers to death while impersonating a law enforcement officer over the weekend. Lee County Sheriff's Office said that 46-year-old Elwood Robinson of Alva described himself as a law enforcement officer to two teenage victims before opening fire. William Hughes, who was 19 years old, and Jeremy Stewart, who was 16, were killed in the alleged attack, and a third shot was fired and hit an unidentified female in the hand and she received treatment for non-life-threatening injuries, but still scary either way. Robinson was arrested and charged with two counts of second-degree murder, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and impersonating an officer. He is scheduled to appear in court on December 17th. Toledo seemingly couldn't miss from three-point range as the Rockets buried the FGCU men's basketball team with a barrage of triples in the Gulf Coast Showcase on Monday at Hertz Arena, 90-62. The Rockets shot 51% from the floor, including 12 of 21 from three, and Toledo got several open looks throughout the game and hit them repeatedly, making a 25-22 Toledo lead turn into 42-25 at the half. But while the Rockets were taking off, the Eagles looked nothing like the squad that beat South Dakota State at home on Friday. FGCU shot 33% from the field in the first half, including a stretch of 1 for 12 to end the half. But the second half proved no different for FGCU as Toledo continued to pull away with a lead approaching 30 multiple times. Five Rockets scored in double figures, led by Jalen Sanford with 18 points, including three three-pointers. But the Eagles don't have long to dwell on this loss as they play Colorado State at 1.30 p.m. today in the consolation bracket. Now that just about does it for us here today. If you like what you heard and you want any more information about what's going on around Southwest Florida or just your local area in general, Head on over to our website at naplesherald.com, follow us on social media, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Again, thank you for stopping by. I'm Jared Brady, and that was your Naples Herald Daily Report.